The last bookstore is in downtown Los Angeles. We opened in 2011. At the time, a lot of bookstores were closing around the world. The name, The Last Bookstore. I just wanted to be there at the end. The store is about 20,000 square feet. When I started thinking about how the design would be, I just pulled from a lot of science fiction, fantasy. I really wanted people when they came here to be taken out of their ordinary lives. I'm Josh Spencer. I'm one of the owners of The Last Bookstore. I first got into selling books probably 20 years ago. I had my car accident when I was 21 years old. Broke my back and was paralyzed from the waist down. Before my accident, I was a very physical, athletic kind of person. So I spent my time just surfing and snowboarding and um, playing volleyball. It took a few years for me to adjust and kind of reorient myself. I started getting more back into books and reading, which had been something I enjoyed as a child. When I got out of college, uh, I couldn't find a job. My grandmother gave me a large collection of cookbooks, maybe a couple hundred, and they sold very quickly. Then I just sold books online for uh, another 10 years. And then I met my wife, and we started The Last Bookstore together. This building was a bank 100 years ago. The landlord of this particular building is from Taiwan, and he, um, gave us a really good deal because he really liked the idea that I had. As you come through the entrance, you'll see a large mammoth head. The last bookstore kind of ties in with that theme. It's something that's sort of extinct. On your left, you'll see the rare book and art book. We have the, a mural hand drawn by pencil. There's uh, our cash counter is old books stacked um, all around the counter. It's an old bank vault. And we keep old antique books in there. We also have a mural along uh, the wall that's all paperback books that are hanging on wires. Upstairs is more like a maze. Tried to make aisles that zigzagged around and little pockets where people could get stuck in could really get lost up there and really explore and feel like they were alone at times. We've created artworks that were made out of paper and books. There's a very Harry Potter bookcase with books coming out of it. And there's an old vintage typewriter, pages flying through the air. We have our famous tunnel made of books. It's just a real eye-catching visual thing, the fun photo spot. We probably have somewhere around three or 400,000 books in here right now. 20% of our books are new and then 80% used. We also have probably 50,000 vinyl records or more. A lot of people sell books to us, and then we also get a lot of donations, pick up whole houses full of books, maybe 5,000 books a week. So I usually go to my warehouse, and that's where I sort through everything. You know, kind of curating what's going to go into the store. That, to me, is, is the most fun. Part of I can work for 12 or 15 hours, just not even getting tired. We have about 60 or 65 employees. It's so crowded in here on the weekends. There, there may be two or three thousand people in the store at one time. Since it's Los Angeles, we get every type of person here. People from other countries, from China or Japan, people from Beverly Hills, homeless people from down the street. People are still very loyal to the physical book. So we're still able to make money. You know, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't a viable business.
We have a five-year-old daughter and an almost three-year-old son. My daughter's learning how to read now. I mean, we've always read to our kids. She just read her first book completely from front to back. Maybe even she'll go into the bookstore business someday. Who knows? Whatever she's going to choose to do is fine, but hopefully reading is a part of her life.